Now we move to the question 6. This is to determine the concavity of a function. Now here you will be given the graphs. So it is a bit easier because you know how the graph is turning out to be. So you have to just pinpoint from the graph what is the range of the concavity, what are the intervals. Now what I would suggest is don't directly jump to concavity. We know concaving something upwards is this and downwards would be something like this. First thing, see where it is changing its increasing and decreasing points. That is the absolute mix, maximum and minimum points. Here it's coming down and you can see somewhere over here it changes from decreasing it becomes increasing function then from increasing it becomes decreasing and same thing here. So these are ma local maxima or minima but this is not what they wanted. See they want concavity and inflection points right. So from here Generally, the concavity will happen somewhere in between. Now I can see this is minus 1, this is 1, this is 0. Somewhere in between because see it's all in concaving upwards, upwards, upwards. Even over here it's upwards. And there will be some point here somewhere in the middle. Negative 0 0.5 somewhere over there. It starts concaving downwards. Then over here as well at positive 0 0.5 it would go upwards. So just by looking at this graph, you can tell what would be the limits. So now what would be the interval? So we can say from negative infinity, negative infinity until negative 0.5 is concaving up. And again, it will concave up from and from 0.5 till positive infinity, it concaves upwards. Where is it concaving downwards? from minus 0 0.5 to comma you should put positive 0 0.5 this is down so this is the thing and the inflection point is close to 0 0.5 now we are not taking any accurate measure because it may not be 0 0.5 it can be 0 0.35 it's not accurate because from this graph we can infer so much now you can see the final answer as well it's approximation around the see the inflection point is around this. That is what they are saying. Now that is what we can infer from this figure. It is not exactly accurate points, but it's close to those points. So now that is what we will approximate and write. And over here we can also tell what is maximum and minimum points. It's approximating towards minus 1 and 1. So even that is mentioned from the graph. Now you can try this problem by yourself. Same like what we just now did. I will solve it up over here. First, let's mark the increasing, decreasing points over here, here. So from, you know, minus infinity, it increases up until 0. And then over here till 2, and then it goes again up. Now, where would be the inflection points? I can see this is concaving down, this is concaving up. Somewhere in the middle, I would consider 1 to be the inflection point and right side of one is concaving up left is concaving down and this is what is shown over here it's concaving one from one to positive infinity whereas down from minus infinity to positive one now what would be the increasing limits from negative infinity until zero i can say it's increasing and then again from two until infinity you can see increasing is over here decreasing is just from zero to two an inflection point from this graph we can infer to be 1. That's how we can easily solve it up. That's it. Please look into the graph. Mark some increasing, decreasing points. That is the local maximum minimum. And then find out the inflection and concavity.